Hello everyone, we're back with another video. This time we have a controller, a PlayStation 4 controller. We're gonna replace the analog stick. So we're gonna remove this particular analog stick, replace it with a new one. Customer is saying that it's uh, drifting or something and we could possibly replace the potentiometers, I think they're called, but we're just going to replace it that's what he wants so we're you we're gonna do that so I'm gonna put a lot of Teflon tape around the components so that we don't damage them of course And I'll show what I've done here in a second, or I'll try to show as much as possible. We want to cover this connector, ribbon connector here, because once we apply some heat, that connector will tend to melt. We're safe here, we're safe here. We're okay there. There's no components there, so we're fine. Let's put it more on this side. I did this before by breaking the analog stick completely in pieces and it worked out okay but this time we're gonna try melting the hole uh, applying heat on the whole area see if everything melts properly and just comes off and if we break it which I doubt then we break it I think this is enough. So we're going to use our helping hands here. Like this. And angle them a little bit. And then here. Let me replace the nozzle on the, on the heat gun here. Give me one second. Actually, we're just going to use the same one. So we're going to begin by heating it up and paying close attention to those cable, uh, the ribbon cable connector on the side. I hope you guys can see fine there. So here we go.
so it's melting but I can see the we don't hurry up the ribbon cable connector is melting as well. So far so good. I think it, we did okay. So my, I was just um, careful, very, very careful about this cable here. And you can see it started to melt a little bit, but it's fine. You'll be able to plug it in. We'll uh, unwrap it here shortly and then, and, uh, make sure that it is safe so now that we have that part out let's use a new one And I cannot find the, the part I just removed. I think it fell here. Yeah. So this is the one we just removed. You can see that it melted somewhat on the under on the underside. And this is the new one, the one with the yellow clicker. So we're going to turn it over. The board itself is pretty hot. Not that hot though. But it looks good on this side as well. Components are safe. Capacitors around it look safe like these ones. So let's go and Make sure it fits in there good. and it fits in there just fine nice and sturdy all the legs are coming through And this time we're just going to solder them from underneath. So let's turn on our heating iron. We're going to put a little bit of flux on each one.
So we're going to start with this corner here. Just stabilize it. And so we're going to go to the other corner. And we're going to get some solder. And then push from underneath. Let me turn on the fume extractor here, and it looks good. And now we're going to do the other sides. Tip. And I think now we're going to do them all. So... pretty quick here. I'm going to clean this up for him. For him. That looks pretty good. It will be fine. So, there it is. It's uh, soldered in place. We're going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol. It's moving good. So we know that the analog stick is fine. Let's remove the Teflon tape and see, uncover that ribbon connector. Make sure that it's, it's in good condition. We appreciate the comments, guys, the people that have subscribed and uh, the people that have sent us 
other consoles. Thank you very much. If you like the videos that we're making, we will continue to make more videos. And we will do our best to be um, trying to teach you guys something. Hopefully you guys can pick something up from, from our mistakes. Uh, it looks pretty good. The IC chips are intact. You can see here that the heat did affect the ribbon uh, connector here, but very, very little. It's not going to affect the, the connection at all. But it was, it, it was getting there, so that's exactly what I was referring to when, when, I, was, when I said I was uh, being very careful regarding it. The Teflon tape helps tremendously. The customer brought it in like this. Um, this assembled, so we'll just give it back like that. This is the part that we replaced. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.